Hi, this is Biling from the Burning Kitchen. Today, guess what? I'm going to cook something for those who have just delivered a baby. Okay, it's called the Pig's Trotter in Black Vinegar. Okay. okay, a friend of mine has just given birth, so I promised to make her this particular dish for her to poison, okay, to nourish her body. So to make it even more poor, I make some uh, hard boiled egg to be soaked into the vinegar and this is very full one, very full so one day just eat one wow your body will come back in shape in no time yeah okay to cook this uh, pig's trotter in vinegar you must buy black sweet rice vinegar chan pong thai okay chan pong thai so this is the best brand. Okay, there are two types. One is uh, one in the pink label, which is double the strength. The other one is the yellow one, which is only mm, not so uh, strong. Pig's trotter, you must buy the front leg, uh, not the hind one. Why? Because the hind one, they exercise a lot, very tough. Okay, so the front one is very meaty and it's nice. You look at this. You know, this skin, uh, don't throw away, you know, because this skin will give a lot of collagen. Okay. Yeah, do all your joints, you know, all the joints are sometimes you after you give birth, right? The joint yeah, got some problem, you know, maybe. <laughs> so you must eat a lot of this, huh? Fix, don't throw away the skin. You can throw away the fats, but not the skin. Okay, the skin is very yummy. Okay, it's like jelly, you know. I ever eaten the pig's trotter in miniature at one of the eateries. Wow, when the pork appeared in front of me, I was so scared, you know, the hair is so long. That's it, I stopped. I paid for it and I left. So what you do, you must pluck it, you know, like as though you're plucking your eyebrow, you know. You gotta do this. To uh, make it easier for you to pluck the, the hair, you blanch it in hot water, okay? So it's easier to pluck it out. That will save a lot of time. Oh, you see all the scum, you see? And these are the ones that smell. Okay, you want to take away. <laughs> okay, so there are three different types of gingers in front of me. So which one do you think is a better one? The one on your right. This one? Let me smell. Wow. This one, uh, beat this hollow. This one got ginger smell. Very punk, very nice. And this is called a bentong ginger. Okay. Is, is yeah. that more expensive? This one is double the price of this one. This is from Thailand. Okay. So for normal uh, cooking or for like uh, brunching, you can use this one because it's a cheaper one. And this one is best to use for cooking when you eat it, you know. Like now we are doing the pig slaughter. This is the type of ginger that we need. But of course it's very spicy as well. If you cannot take two spices, uh, ginger, you can actually mix these two, okay? This one is a young one, this one is no fiber, this one is a little bit fibrous, so depending on what texture you want. You know, you go to a Japanese uh, restaurant, right, you have this pink ginger, right? This is the one. And how to make it pink? This is the one, <laughs> okay? You put this one in, you see there's a pink color, right? So when you soak it in the vinegar, the pink color will, will come out, then the ginger will become a little bit slight pinkish. So it's best to buy this ginger about a week before, wash it, brush it, make sure no mud stick onto it. And whatever loose skin, just remove them. After you wash it, you sun it very dry. Why? Because it will be better for it to absorb the vinegar. That's the reason why you need to dry it. And after that, you cut the ginger into very chunky size and then just smash it with this chopper. Just pyak like that, okay? Yeah, that's it. For the young ginger, we don't need the, this one, okay? Yeah, unless you want to do a pickled uh, ginger, okay? So we just need to remove this one and then cut into chunks and then just smash it. When you want to fry anything to do with vinegar, please do not use this cast iron wok. Because it's too acidic for this. This wok will become very rusty. It's best to use enamel or use the glass or uh, corning wear, okay, the best thing, alright. Stainless steel is quite alright, okay, or even use sapo also can. Now we are ready to start cooking. First of all, you add in sesame oil on the wok. 
and then you just uh, fry the ginger until it's very dry, until it's very fragrant. Then you add in the pork. And then you add in the vinegar. If you want it very thick, then you one bottle of vinegar with one bottle of water. If you want it uh, to be more diluted, you add in two bottles of water. Okay, then you add in the brown sugar. I saw into this pot lah, because this one is too shallow. Okay, so now I'm boiling the pig trotter under very high heat. Once it's boiling, you turn to low heat and simmer it for about an hour or so until uh, the pig trotter become a little bit soft. You can add in the hard boiled egg 15 minutes before the end of the cooking time. Okay, to check whether the pork is soft enough, you just use a chopstick and poke right through it. So if the chopstick can go right through it, that means it's soft enough. You mustn't make it too soft because uh, when the pork is soaked in the vinegar, it continues to soften. Okay, we don't want it to be too soft. Don't be greedy, huh? don't eat it immediately. It's not nice. Huh? You must soak it for about maybe three days, four days. Then eat it, it will be very yummy. This actually can last you for about a month. But uh, if you want to do that, then you have to take away the trotter and separately keep them in the fridge. Because if the trotter was to soak in the vinegar for too long, it will melt. It becomes too soft. So if you don't want it to be very, very soft, then you have to separate them. And for the egg, it's also the same. The longer you soak the egg, the harder it becomes. So you throw the egg into the mountain, the mountain crack, but the egg is still intact, you know? Yeah, so that's so hard. Huh? So that's it. So depending on your preference, you want a hard egg, then you soak it longer. You want a softer egg, then you don't need to soak so long. Okay, keep it separately. So you want to eat it, then you just uh, dish out the chowder and the egg, and then put in the vinegar, and then just warm it up in the microwave. And that's it. So well, this is the final product of my Zhu Jiao Chu. Wow, look at this. Look at it already, Lao Noir already, right? Even my neighbor also can smell you know, the Zhu Jiao Chu when I was cooking it. You know, you saw how strong, how fragrant it is. This bowl is for you. If you want to eat this, Come to the east. Wow, it's already 7.30. I got to deliver it to my friend. My friend is waiting for me for a dinner. I'm so sorry. I got to rush off now. If you like my video, please give me many, many likes, okay? See you the next time. I got to go now. See you. I know. So this means a young girl. Wow, a young wow, girl. You see, a dancing. And, <laughs> then this will be uh, maybe a lady in her 30s, more mature. Yeah, and maybe. this is what we call Jiang Si Lao De La. Yeah, the old teacher is more experienced. Yes, yes. <laughs>